بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته On the first Thursday of the glorious month of Rajab many will hear of the night known as ليلة الرغائب the night of wishes According to a narration attributed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam fasting on the first Thursday of Rajab plus performing a special prayer between Maghrib and Isha made up of 12 rak'ahs units where in every rak'ah after Surah Al-Hamd three times Surah Al-Qadr and 12 times Surah Ikhlas is recited as well as some dhikr after Salah will grant forgiveness, fulfillment of wishes as well as protection on the first night of the grave. However, some people have raised the objection that the narration is indeed weak and so should the prayers be performed? Well, the chain of narrators in this narration is weak. However, according to our ulama, despite a narration being weak, what is mentioned within it as far as a deed is concerned, such as a prayer in this instance, can still be performed, but with the intention of Raja al matlubiya which means the hope that it is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do. And indeed the hope that is actually said from the Holy Prophet or the Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon them. Yes, we cannot say, for example, this salah is actually mustahab, but there is encouragement from scholars to actually perform it. Why? Well, according to narrations of the Ahl al-Bayt, such as Imam al-Sadiq salam, if we receive a hadith that says, for example, that we should perform a deed and there are rewards, even if the hadith is not reliable, we will get the reward if we perform this act of worship since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace is unlimited. Of course, this is as long as the narration is not against the Quran and authentic traditions. For the Salah of Laylatul Raghaib, there is nothing against the Quran and authentic hadith. So, believers are encouraged to perform it with the intention of a raja, i.e. the hope that the hadith actually is from the Holy Prophet as well as the aspiration of gaining reward and grace from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as His grace and blessings are unlimited. If you would like to see how the prayers is performed, please check out the link below the video. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your deeds.